First conversation we have today is activist AG Adeyo Ju, and he is of the opinion that African feminists want to enjoy equality and not to be taken care of by men. And he said it on his Twitter handle, and I read, the only thing I have against African feminists is hypocrisy. They want to enjoy equality and also be taken care of by men, as they popularly call it, chop men's money. They will even quote Bible. Uh, they don't want to copy the mindset of feminist colleagues in Europe and America. That's coming from him, not me. Should I open the floor or should I start switching? Yeah, no, you should open it because you know you have been to Europe. I have not and been to Europe. And you are the uh, feminist uh, so movement. <laughs> women in Europe don't like men's movement. Why you like I think a lot of the times when I see quotes like this, it's, hard, it's very hard for me to put a lot of energy into it because I can almost always smell that the intentions is to just ridicule the movement and ridicule women. Mm. There is a time and place for feminism. There is a time and place for feminism. Mm. <laughs> Let's put that into context, right? So I can fight for equality um, for women on a large scale in the societal structure, but that doesn't mean that I'm bringing um, feminism into my relationships with my girlfriends, or I'm bringing um, feminism into my relationship with my family. It's kind of like religion as well. I'm sure you don't bring religion to the other room or whatever. You don't say, let's pray. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> you scream, oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, God. So, uh, I, really, I really do believe <laughs> that a feminist, <laughs> if, if, it's not, if it's not, you don't jump on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, you just go. I really do believe that a feminist has every right to be spoiled by her partner. Um, but if you're talking about the mindset that a lot of, uh, some, of girl, some of the girls in this city that I know, and I don't speak of any other city, um, have in regards to milking men for money or using them as a means to get out of, um, I don't know, just to really just milk men and quote unquote chop their money. It isn't a very feminist mindset, I have to agree to that. I think what we push for, for feminists, is that whatever that man has, we want to get it for ourselves and even more, without the help of so a man. So the girls in their bras don't do that as well? No, don't get me wrong. Now, I'm, I'm saying that as a feminist. Okay, the feminists in their bras. Feminist, do too. Mm. The idea of a feminist is to, be, is to be empowered to a point where you don't need men to do that, right? Now, does that mean that you cannot have the person that you're with spoil you, or your parents spoil you, or your friends spoil you, or your lovers spoil you? Absolutely not. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if you're using it as a means to really get ahead, and you're exploiting men, and you're you know, being manipulative, and you're you are milking people, basically using, doing sugar, sugar babe stuff. Uh, mm. Is it not the choices as well that feminism will forget for? But anyway, to be honest, you see, actually, you see, it I is. mean, people can live their life the way they want, Absolutely. and for very since we are talking about feminism in Nigeria, not what feminist feminists mm. should be about, right? Mm. Since there is a contest now, yes. so let's talk about it. This is the very reason why, when a guy in Nigeria says he's a feminist, I run. I'm mm. a feminist. I run. Like I don't want to have anything to do with them because they think that. Um, associating with that movement gives them the leeway to say, I'm not going to do anything, I'm going to be useless, I'm, we are here, once we go out it has to be 50-50. No, no, not 100%, but go on. I mean, that's, that is the vibe most of them have. Yeah. So mm. that's what yeah. comes to their mind when mm. they want to say they are supporting this movement. Not because they genuinely care. Mm. Their patriarchal self is somewhere hidden in the closet. Mm. And when it needs to come up, <laughs> it's they come bring up. it out. Mm. So they do not understand the movement. They don't understand anything. All they think about is what happens in their relationship and how they can hide under the cover of feminism. I'm sorry it looks like I'm generalizing, but I know they are, they are fair and... Um, genuine feminist men out mm. there and all. Oh, kudos to you guys. But majority of the men in this mm. country claiming they're feminists, they just want to run away from responsibilities. And I've always said it, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to feminism and relationships, I think mm. that that should be two different things. Absolutely. As far as I'm concerned, as a person, as a woman, mm. I want to be able to spoil my man. And that's why I want to also have my own money. Mm. But you also have to be able to spoil me. You also have to be able to know that you are the man and be a man. Mm. I'm not saying you cannot have emotions. I'm not saying you cannot come to me for help. I'm not saying mm. we cannot have conversations. I'm not saying I'm not supposed to be able to step in for you where you need me to step in for you. But, I mean, being romantic as well requires money, requires initiative. And um, it's, it goes beyond saying this man is rich. There are men that are rich that don't even know how to be romantically they involved. They don't know what to do. Even mm. if they know that if I send a mug, how much is a mug exactly? 
it's, five. Do you understand? If I sang a mug with the the new mug they do now with the whole when you pour hot water in it, if I start a lovely gesture, write a poem or something on it to send, that's not going to cost you 10K, mm. right? But even with the 1 million and 1 billion in their accounts, they don't even understand that that's something that is done. Yeah, do you understand? So it is, it's not breakfast? about let's not bring feminism in into bed, that it won't yeah. even cost you. Yeah, that, that's that's that won't even point. cost you anything. Mm. Like you just you have this food in the kitchen, you just go make it and bring it up in bed. But um on this topic though, I see people like Deja Dinyo Ju as people who haven't gone deep into the concept of feminism, people who really do not understand what the movement means and what it stands for. There are levels to it. Mm. There are different sides of feminism that men needs to be abreast of before you start talking about the feminist woman, before you start talking about the feminist man. Do you actually understand it? The fact that they're asking for equality, does it stop them from being women? Mm. Does it stop them from being um, taken care of? There are certain terms. I'm taken care of. <laughs> there are certain terms that can't be used anymore, like being the weaker versus, mm. because we know a woman is not the weaker versus. But does this <laughs> stop them from being somebody that needs a man's protection, mm. that needs a man's care and affection? Mm. Do you understand? Mm. It doesn't stop that. Mm. Feminism has never, ever stopped that. It's like say that okay, I know I'm married to a feminist woman. And then anytime we're in the in in the other room, I expect her to be on top. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you see, that, you see, that's just the way. And that conversation comes up at where ridiculously. Yeah, it does. It does. You know, I, I don't know <coughs> how people. It, it, it's it's in... either it's either you accept it or you demonize it, which is yeah. what he's trying to do. But I'm I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm going to play devil's advocate here mm -hmm. now. I'm not sure he's also just talking about the context of romance now between um you know partners. What context now. is he talking about? But he said about? men. I was, I was, I was he said. He I'll, said men, like mm -hmm. when we, um, women chopping men's no, money. I was, I now, was in a different to. context, we're going to say maybe Europe or whatever, that type of, that type of um, um, narrative isn't that common. It exists, but it's not that common. Mm -hmm. Here in, in Lagos, it mm -hmm. does. It's a lot more common where you see a lot of women mm -hmm. using feminism as a means to either, um, you know, really misbehave while on the same breath, you are still doing the one thing we're no, trying no, no, to Esme, empower. I think no, you are also okay. going out of context because okay. I don't understand them using feminism to misbehave and right, chopping so men's I... money. Like, I so don't are you, are you, not, I... are you going, not going to uh, um, see the, the aspect that there is a lot of women mm -hmm. in Nigeria mm -hmm. that go after men's money mm -hmm. in a derogatory way? Like, I'm going to manipulate you. I'm going to use... Using um, feminism or just because... Or just, not because just because in I'm general, a woman. yes, yes. And not there general. are men, actually on this lecky, or being in this lecky, <laughs> yeah. that that is their, that's the, what they that's do for living. Like, yeah. You know, so well, let's just not make it about, like? oh, this is about women there wanting is, men there is the, There is this, um, both sides to the coin, but that doesn't mean that one side doesn't Even exist. when we get to the point where it looks like Nigeria has attained equality, mm. only God knows what when that year will be, there will always be women that would also see themselves as being enough as they are mm. to be able to make money by being by a man. Mm. I mean, mm. there will always be, and there will always be men that way as well. So let's not make it about a particular okay, so. gender. There's something that I keep wanting to bring up that um, goes away, but right now, I, I, okay, I can remember. So um, you are in a relationship mm. and we've seen many relationships even before we knew what feminism is all about. Mm. And these women have always been the one taking care of the home. Not because they feel like, oh, but because the man was not capable at that point. And they kept quiet. They did a lot of things to ensure then we're still massaging the man ego mm. to make sure that he's the one that would pay the school fees. Even when we know that mommy got mm. the school fees, mm. but she has to give it to daddy. Mm. And then daddy will now come in yeah, public yeah, yeah. and give it to mommy. Yeah, even to say, you, go you know, your... so men have been so comfortable with um, providing and mm. being seen as the yeah. provider. But when a woman provides and is seen as the provider, then she's proud. Yeah. Then she's being a feminist that cannot be controlled. She's yeah. not being submissive. Okay, okay. so, so see, I, I went to... Uh, mm. uh, now, wow. Okay. <laughs> because we, on this table, we have to admit that we like feminism conversations. <laughs>